28, April. The year is 2019. This is Shea Bear 1000, a kind, trusting soul whom will do anything to help the unfortunate. A little rough around the edges, though devastatingly handsome. By his side is Monkey 1000, a brave explorer from the Northern Territory known to many as Canada. A wise and outgoing lass, albeit a little comedic at times. By their side is their trusty sidekick, known only to some as Bruno. A lovable chap with a good heart and a nose like a bloodhound, though sometimes he poops. Are you brave enough to join them as they set out in their trusty steed on a quest in the journey to find the ultimate footage worthy of a viral video? Okay guys, this is the surprise I was telling you about. You see Monkey right over there doing her intro. This is it. Now, I got some mediocre drone footage. It got windy as soon as I took the drone up. But I got some footage all put in this video. Uh, we was going to climb, but she went to get her camera and then she started asking me questions and I crashed my drone. shot it's done it's it's broke it's got bent motors it's done because I hit the tower when she said something I looked over at her and I hit the tower and it fell that far down so anyway I had to go help her so the drone fell that far. We are out in the of Monkey's over there doing her yeah, intro I again. I brought three cameras in the drone. And she said, that's too much equipment. I said, you can never have too many, cam too many cameras. Yeah, you can. It's a good thing I brought three because our 4K, the one I was using yesterday to do the rocket stove, for some reason it's freezing up. It's not doing anything. I mean, it's working, but it's not. It won't hit record. The counter comes up, and it does nothing, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Now I'll bet she's glad I brought an extra camera. One for me, one for her, and in case something happens. Well, they're new cameras. It doesn't matter. It's electronics. Anything can happen. But anyway, I was going to take you clear up to the tippity top of this thing, but the gate is locked. So we can't go up it anymore. They condemned it. I'm figuring because they're wooden steps. So. Mm -hmm. Here's the steps that you can climb. And we're going to go out and about so you can see. And I found this. What year was this birthday? 30s to 40s. Yeah, 30s to 40s. It goes way, way, way up there. Way up there. As you can see. And they used it during World War II. Jesus. I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I still got traffic. They, I know. They used it during... Hi. Right. They used it during World War II because they were doing them mustard gas experiments around here or whatever. Oh yeah? And that's what they used it for during that. And then it became the fire tower. Okay. Like I said, I got some drone footage. It's yeah. not the greatest, but I'll put some drone footage in. Monkey will put some in hers. But it got windy up there and then I crashed the drone so the drone will never fly again. Because we hit one of these about 100 feet up maybe 75 feet so let's get you back here I'm trying to keep you out of the sun and try to get kind of a more more of a perspective it's high but I did have the drone up there I went way above it to try to get you guys some clouds and the area so I went up about 150 to 175 feet 
I know it was 150 feet, but I went way up above this to get more of a of a view around. But there it is. They used to have one of them windows open up there. And my thing was if it was locked, I was going to fly the drone into one of them windows, climb over that gate, and then I would have an excuse to go get my drone to be up there. But this was the surprise, and I'm sorry I can't get up there for you guys, but I really don't want to risk it of going to jail. Yeah, I climb over it. Oh, I'm not worried about the steps. Oh, well, that's but, all I worry about. I don't think anybody would bother us on a day like this. Well, all these, there's neighbors here, so, yeah. and they know this place is condemned now. We thought we had to hike it the way we were thinking. We would have to go and hike it for like two hour hike in, but it was a drive. We just drove. Yeah. So, you know. Truck's over there. And there you go. There's... There's a truck, cool. and they've got pamphlets and stuff, so I'm going to look yeah. through some of the pamphlets, see if we can't find something else to film for you guys. And I'll, again, I'm I'm sorry, all I got some shitty drone footage. And I like to find the, um, the store. There is a store from 1922 still in business, yeah. so we're going to try to find that yeah. for you guys. Maybe we can take a, a little bit. Where they sell, oh, damn it, where they sell canned goods and stuff. There we go. And there you uh, go, way up there. There you go, right there. So, anyways, hopefully Shea Bear's um, footage will we'll put it on and you'll be able to see around the area. But, a there you go, guys. So, anyways, sorry it was a big letdown, just like everything in my life. Uh, always letting everybody down. But we tried, right? And we drove an hour just to get in this area and it took another hour to find it because the uh, GPS was taking us had us clear over there where we could have walked but we would have came out these woods here I'm glad we kept driving because then we drove right up to it so I'm gonna get the camera stuff and she's walking away so I'll do it by myself I guess and I'll talk to you guys soon so
guys, I found the old general store. Right behind me over there is the tower. Which, if you see some drone footage, you'll actually see the general store, and I'll point it out in the video, in the drone footage. It's right across the street. Now I'm going to show you this placard, and uh, you can uh, pause it and read up on it. Because I'm not that great of a reader. But we was talking to the owner, or, well, the guy that works here, not the owner. Um, and he said that um, it's all original except for the roof. The roof, of course, is a new roof. But everything else, all the siding, all the tin work is all original. saved everything they could most of the counter is all original I thought this was cute let me show you this <laughs> I'll give you a pan of this from 1922 let's go inside here and I'll show you the post office. But you didn't get this. They said you could get turn on 98. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, that's the road. Take your right. Dad's in at 98. You can take a right, go to Day City, take a left, go to Lake. Yeah, okay. So you follow the road that goes to 470. Correct. Where y'all from? Tampa. Oh, Tampa. Yeah. Yeah, we actually drove by here one time and we thought, oh, we want to stop here. So we nice, oh, okay. Nice time of day just to take a drive. And come up. There you go. What part of Tampa? Uh, the northwest. So cool. Or, uh, right here oh, okay. And they had to All put right. the floor down because it had solid concrete. Closer and more towards the. Uh, Lakes area. Yeah. And Luke's. Yeah, that's not far away from mm -hmm. As long as I'm not in the picture, I'll be fine. No, I won't get you in the picture. Because I'm already on probably on the milk carton somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you looked familiar. <laughs> on the wanted side, not the missing <laughs> side. I'm the guy that's standing next to you. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. No problem. You guys have a wonderful day. Y'all too. Alrighty. Is for sale. Fifteen, I think. Yep. Yeah, that's cute. She likes, you know, kind of looks. Yeah, this was made right off that 1915. So cool. And what's interesting is all this stuff on these old signs here, they still sell in there. All this stuff. You can find it on the shelves in there. I've seen every, everything that they've got here, they've got on the shelves. I got me a Coke, and you actually take it, and they have a bottle opener right there, just like back in the day. You'd go in, open you up a bottle of Coke, a bottle of pop, whatever, and uh, sit there and shoot the crap. There's the sign again. I don't know if you guys will be able to read it if you pause it, but yes, it was built in 1922. This is uh, in 1926, Pasco County, that's the county we're in, Deputy Sheriff William O'Berry was shot and killed east of the store while attempting to arrest Charles Davis. A worker at the local 
turpentine still. Oh, he was a worker at the local turpentine still and it was over the theft of a dog. The store was robbed in 1928 and burnt likely from arson, but was rebuilt soon after in February of that same year. That's pretty cool. This is awesome. Hopefully you guys will be able to pause this and read it. But I'm going to take a still image anyway for my own use. So, Alright guys, I appreciate you watching. So always not lost. A really cool store really fun day hell of a nice drive so listen i'm gonna say shea bear i'm gone for now and i'll see you guys in the next one remember the myth the man the legend take care guys i get in the truck and this truck reeks of licorice and i wonder why because ah, she had to get her favorite licorice and it costs six dollars <laughs> but uh, so but we did get a popcorn thing tell them it's a popcorn on the corn cop <laughs> it's a popcorn on the corn cop it's corn it's still on the cob and you put it in the microwave I can guess in a little bag and it pops right off the cob so that's going to be cool we're going to do a video on it yep. I'm sure she'll do it for her channel too mm -hmm. and we'll let you guys we'll do that tonight okay all right so we're going to go see what else we can find all right guys bye bye for now I can say she's out bye you why why are you why are you jumping out of the truck real fast? I'm gonna get you a log. We're yeah, sitting yeah. here looking for things to do around yeah, here. And she's been talking all day and look and she just happens to look over and says, Is that a log over there? Because she wants me to do that rocket stove thing. Yeah, so I'll get this log and he can do that stove thing when I'm working. Just waiting for the car to go by. As usual, there's always a friggin' car. If she, Bruno, get down. There's two of them. If she rolls that over and there's a snake under there. This, Bruno, get down, please. Come on, get in the back. Get in the back. She, she, she's crazy. <laughs> it's a perfect log, though, for what we're going to do. ghost story to tell them uh-huh yep so we'll tell them in a different video so okay. stay tuned for that huh yep oh well, there's a car see we're not alone we're out in the middle of fucking nowhere hey i told you i just go in an outtakes everybody knows how i feel every time i fire up the damn camera there's a damn car and i want to show you we're out in the middle of freaking nowhere. Look at that. Nothing for miles. I turn. I just turned the camera on. 30 one. seconds ago. Here comes a damn car. Every time. Yep. Nope. Peace.